Hello Delphi programmers. We're going to learn how to write out our hints in code view so that we can have multi-line and longer duration of hint display. This comes in handy when you're wanting to display hints for sections of your program that uh, instead of sending the, uh, the user of your program into your help file. Let's go ahead and jump in here and get started. First thing we want to do is that we want to make our form smaller. Let's add some controls to it. We're going to add a label edit a button and let's jump over here to the addition and add in an image so we've got our label our T edit our T button and our image let's add in an image here I'm a big Dallas Cowboys fan so I'm gonna add in this very pretty cheerleader here click on OK and we want to stretch our image so that she will appear in the image okay now First thing we want to do is that we want to enable it to show hints. So click on each one of these, go down here to well, yeah, show hint, and change the false to true. And do that to each one of these. This way whenever you run the program, it will sh display the hint. So, now, let's go ahead and bring that down, scroll this in some, and bring this out. Okay, you will notice that a lot of stuff that you do will uh, be done within your forms on create. So let's go ahead and jump into the on create and let's go ahead and start our typing. So application dot hint color colon equals C L A Q U A aqua. Now this is the color so you can name it uh, give it any color that you want and the colors that are available to you if you go over here you go into your color your form and just look at these different colors all these are the colors that are available to you you cannot add in any other color and always remember to put CL at the beginning of your color like this CL aqua so our next one is uh, application dot hint Okay, now what this is, is that this is the duration that it's going to take for the hint to show. So this is 250 milliseconds before hint will display. <coughs> so now we jump into application dot hint hide pause. <coughs> and we're going to do this for 10 seconds, that's 10,000. If you notice this, 10 and then three zeros, that will give you 10,000. And this is um, time that hint will display is 10 seconds. So if you want to change this, let's say that you got uh, five, six lines uh, for your multi-line hints. And so uh, you want to, uh, and you got like five words on each line. You would want to change that to at least 20, depending on your user. If your user is a good reader or not such a good reader, you want to give them enough time to be able to read that hint without having to click out and then cursor over it again in order to display the hint again. And so you would want to make sure that your application is extremely user friendly. So let's go ahead and create our hints. So these are controls with the hints. So we're going to do our label one dot hint colon equals. Okay. Now first thing we want to do is type in. We always got to uh, open it and close it with our single quotes and then end it with our semicolon. So this, whoops, this is a label. And I need to learn how to spell. Okay, we. And with a single quote, add a plus character 13, and then plus. Okay, now this right here goes between your lines. This creates a new line. So this is a new line. Okay, now, so we got this is a label, and then it creates a new line, and this is a new line. So that's a two line label. So then we got button one dot hint, colon equals, this is a T button, and then this is 
did another line Oops. and a third line. So this is three lines and then we're going to do our t-edit. Edit one dot hint colon equals. This is a t-edit and my computers aggravate me. Um, this is the last line. Okay, and then our image. So we go image one dot hint colon equals. This is a T image. Uh, load an image for your program. And this is a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Ain't she? Oops. Beautiful. Okay. So, there we go. First things first, make sure that you got your show hint to true for each one of your controls. If not, then your hint will not show. Okay, then first thing is your hint color is going to be CL and whatever color you want. In this case, it's CL Aqua. The hint pause, just the pause before the hint displays once your cursor runs over, is 250 milliseconds. Then your application hint hide pause, which is the duration of the hint for when it will show, is 10 seconds. Keep in mind that if you got a uh, multi-line, which is uh, anywhere between three, five, or many, many, many multi-lines, and you got more than five words on each line, then you would want to add this, uh, bump it up to at least a 20. That way, depending on how the user can read, how well they can read, would depend on uh, how long you would want this to stay open. And then whenever you create your hint, open a uh, single quote, this is a label, end quote, plus character 13, plus uh, single quote, this is a new line, single quote, semicolon. Now what this does is this creates a new line for each one of your, your hint lines. So you do your first line, then you create your new line, then your second line, and so forth and so on, on down the line. And then uh, that should take care of it. And uh, this is Wayne Barron with Dark Effects TV, and y'all have a rocking new week. And remember, have stopped the violence towards women, gays, lesbians, and those that are different. And have to bring a stop to the bullies in our schools and our workplace. Thank you, and y'all keep on programming.